Hello everyone, FedEx Gaming here and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing how to build a simple test your strength machine. Now, if you don't know what a test your strength machine is, I'll have a little picture popping up on the screen right now. You'll mainly see these things in carnivals, theme parks, and things like that, amusement parks, and all that good stuff. So how my test your strength machine works is when I hit this pressure plate, some of these lights will light up and we want the lights to light up all the way to the top so we get our winning item at the end. Now this can light up at least four lights, eight lights, 10 lights, and then the last light, which is number 11. And we really want that one. Now this thing is based off of luck guys. It's completely random. So for some reason I have the worst luck in Minecraft. I literally have the worst luck in Minecraft, even though I built this thing in my favor. So when we collect this pressure plate, hopefully we win right away. And yeah, see, as you can see, I am the weakest moose in all of Minecraft. So let's try this again. So we're gonna get off the pressure plate. We're gonna go back on and come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Oh, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. And we won an item. We have won a. What did we win? I, I can't see because I turned off everything. Uh, let's switch. Uh, there we go. We won a diamond. Nice. We want a diamond out of our test your strength machine. So now we're gonna try it again. Come on, at least light up one or two lights. I don't really care. Just don't light all the lights up. There we go. We lit up one. And as you can see, it completely stopped. So you could stop in the middle or it can go all the way to the top or it won't light up any lights at all. And as you heard, there's also some nice little note blocks in the background making it sound a little better when they're going off. So let's go ahead and look at the redstone, guys. I made this thing super simple, so it takes up no room on the outside. As you can see, this thing, you can fit this thing into anywhere. It will take up absolutely no room whatsoever. So let's go ahead and start building. So for this build, you're going to need a four by seven spacing, and you're also going to have to dig down two, but make sure you have enough room to dig down three. So the resources you're going to need for this build are four droppers, three hoppers, 12 redstone lamps, three redstone comparators, two redstone repeaters, 27 redstone dust, five note blocks, one pressure plate, and 14 stone slabs. Now you're also going to need six non-stackable items. I'm going to be using wooden shovels and two stackable items. I'm going to be using dirt. And we're also going to need one oak wood plank for that first note block sound. So once you've gotten your four by seven spacing, come down to the bottom right hand corner, place a piece of redstone dust with a block above it. And then your pressure plate's going to be going right here. Then right to the left hand side, we're going to delete down a block next to your redstone dust. And we're going to put a dropper facing upwards, go inside your dropper and place in one non-stackable item. I'm going to be placing dirt in there. Just put one of them in there. Then we're going to place a hopper right above this dropper by going into sneak mode. Make sure this is a dropper guys and not a dispenser. If it's a dispenser, it will not work. Then coming out of this hopper, we're going to place a comparator going towards the right corner over here. Then we're going to delete down another block, put another dropper facing upwards with a hopper on top of it once again. But before we do that, go inside your dropper and place in two non-stackable items. I'm going to be using wooden shovels and one stackable item. I'm going to be using dirt. Then we're going to go ahead and place in another hopper right above this dropper. Then coming out of this hopper, we're going to place in another comparator going this way towards the front hand side. And then we're going to take out our redstone dust and place in three pieces of redstone dust from this comparator. So one, two, and then one more to the right hand side, three. Next, delete out these two blocks right here. So one, two, and then coming out of this redstone dust going towards our comparator right here, we're going to place in two repeaters, one, two, and put them both on to four ticks delay. Once you have gotten your repeaters put in, come back over here to this redstone dust and place in a dropper coming out from that redstone dust with another hopper going into this dropper like so and then go inside of this dropper and place in the rest of your five non-stackable items. So one, two, three, four, five wooden shovels. And then coming out of this hopper, we're gonna place a comparator going this way, put a block in front of it, put a piece of redstone dust on top of it, and then we're gonna put a slab upside down right here. So make sure it is upside down, put a piece of redstone dust on top of it. Then we're gonna put a block right here and another slab upside down with a piece of redstone dust on top of it. Come out one more block, put another piece of redstone dust so it looks just like this. And now we're going to take out our redstone lamps and put in our whole entire test your strength thing. Well, test your strength bell, I guess. Then we're going to go ahead and put a redstone lamp right in front of this redstone dust like that. And then go up 10 more. So we'll actually go up 11. So one right here. That's one. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. There should be a total of 11 redstone lamps right here. Now we can go ahead and put in our bell. I'm going to be using gold blocks. You can use whatever color you want. But I think the gold blocks looks the best. So I'm going to put a gold block like this with a lamp in the middle and then go ahead and put gold blocks around the whole entire thing so it makes your nice looking bell. Next, make your way back to the bottom of the bell and then right here, we're just going to make a ladder going all the way up with slabs. So the easiest way to do this is skip every other redstone lamp and place in a block. So there's already a block here. So one, skip a block, two, skip a block, three, skip a block, four, skip a block, five, skip a block, six. There should be a total of six blocks. Plus this one should make seven. Then we're going to go ahead and put slabs behind every single one of these blocks upside down. So just put a slab in upside down, 
behind every single one of these blocks like so there we go and then we're gonna come out one more block from the back of these slabs so come out one more block like that because this is the easiest way to get in your slabs upside down then right underneath every single one of these blocks we're going to put a slab upside down so put one right underneath it delete the block put one underneath it delete the block put one underneath it delete the block so on and so forth all the way until you reach the top now you know you did this right because right from here from this first piece of rest on dust it should be 15 blocks all the way up into this slab so we're going to go ahead and count it out so one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and number 15. Then we're going to go ahead and place some redstone dust going into every single one of these lamps like that. And then all the way at the top of here, we're going to place in another dropper off the front of this redstone dust like this. But make sure it's not facing up. Make sure it's not facing up. So, you know, I'm just going to delete this real quick. And we're just going to place in our dropper like that. It'll just make it easier for me. And then we're just going to put our redstone lamp back in. Bop, bop, and bop. And now you can fill this dropper with whatever prizes you want. You know, you can put swords in there. You can put diamonds. You can put emeralds. You can put whatever you want inside of this dropper and of course if you're going to be putting swords and things like that and you want to add more you can always put a dropper on top of it and then put a chest on top of that to add more swords in and that's our entire bell done so now what we're going to do is come right back down here and we have to add in a few more pieces of redstone dust so from this piece we're going to hook up two more pieces of redstone dust one two into the side of this hopper now what that's going to do is when we activate this pressure plate it's going to lock this hopper so when our items are funneling from this dropper into this hopper it will keep adding more and more in without having it go right back into the dropper so now how this whole thing works before I jump into this thing, because I never told you how this whole thing works, is when we hit the pressure plate, this redstone dust will activate this hopper dropper monostable circuit, pushing the dirt block from this dropper into this hopper, thus activating this hopper dropper monostable circuit. And inside this hopper dropper monostable circuit, we have two non-stackable items, that's our wooden shovels, and our one stackable item, that's our piece of dirt. Now every time a shovel gets popped up into this hopper, it will activate three pieces of redstone dust making the current keep going however if that piece of dirt gets shot up into the hopper it will only activate this one piece of redstone dust thus turning off the entire build so now it's time to add in our note block so we get a nice little tune every time we get higher and higher up into our test your strength so we're going to come right back here and the first one i like to use is a bass drum so we're going to go ahead and use our one piece of what i told you to get out place a note block on top of it and now you can hit it as much as you want you can make it whatever you want i normally just keep it on one so it makes that nice bass sound and now the second one we're going to put a note block right off the redstone dust make sure you do it right off the redstone dust we're going to put a note block right here and set this one to five so one two three four five then we're going to skip one of the slabs and come up to this one and we're going to put a note block right here and put this one on ten so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten then we're going to skip another slab and put another note block right up here and set this one to 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then we're going to come up one more and we're going to set this note block off this piece of redstone dust right here to 24. That's the highest it can go. Make sure you do not go past 24 or else it will just reset the entire note block. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21 22 23 and 24 also once you get your note blocks put in make sure you put your winning items inside the dropper i'm just going to go ahead and throw a few of these in i already grabbed some so my winning items could be either emeralds diamonds golden apples cookies cakes or apples so there you guys have it that's the entire test your strength completely done you have your bell done you have your note block sounds going off you have your winning items and you should also have your redstone completely done so i'm going to try three times i'm going to try three times to win hopefully i get a few lights to light up if i get no lights to light up then I'm the weakest moose in Minecraft. So three times, guys. Only three times. One. And come on, come on, come on. No. Oh, so, <laughs> so far, not looking good. So we're going to try again. We have two more tries. Two more tries. Two more tries. Come on. <laughs> two more tries. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Really? R really? Okay. One more try. One more try. We got this. We got this. One more try. We could do this. We could do this. Okay. So one, two, three, four five yes yes we won we won i got a diamond so enough getting giddy about my winning diamond we do have to clean up the area so once you are done and you know everything is working for you you can go ahead and clean up this entire area make sure you clean up the exact way i do do not cut any of this redstone off or it will not work so we're going to fill up this whole entire area and then of course you probably want to box in this whole back area with your redstone so no one can see it so the best thing that i like to do is i like to come out at least one with my belt so it gives it kind of like you know that a whole uh 
outer look to it. It just looks nice. It looks nice coming out from the wall. At least one. Don't make it flush to the wall. But I mean, you can make it flush to the wall if you really want to. So I'm going to fill up this whole entire area like this. And if you want to, you can put glass around it so people can see the redstone. Or if you want to, just go around the whole entire thing with blocks and fill in the entire thing so you don't have to see any of this redstone. But there you guys have it. That is how you build the entire test your strength machine. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe to stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Peace.